So guys, um, <clears throat> in this video, I'm going to talk about how to live your life, period, even, even without narcissistic abuse, even without going through something as devastating as that is. Even without that, living this way is very beneficial to everybody. And honestly, it brings more happiness rather than living blissfully and rather than living satisfied. I want you guys to live blissfully dissatisfied. Two words together instead of just one or the other. You can't live too much in bliss and you can't live too much satisfied. You want to live blissfully dissatisfied because you don't want to just go through a bunch of pain, 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 pain in your life and think you're doing the right thing and think if you wire yourself with enough pain, you're going to get to where you want to get. And honestly, if you do this, you're not even going to enjoy where you do end up getting yourself because it was just pain, 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 pain the entire time to where you wanted to go. But instead, if you live blissfully dissatisfied, you're going to live in a state of bliss. You're going to enjoy your days, where some days might be a little bit harder than others, but you're still living in this state of bliss. You are happy, you are thankful, you're getting stuff done. You might do something here and there for some fun. You might have fun doing your hobbies or whatever you want to do, right? You might go to an amusement park. You might go to a swim pool. You might play a sport. It, it could be anything. But living bliss, blissfully dissatisfied is so beneficial because even if you live satisfied and you feel like in a state of bliss all the time, every single day, you're going to get bored of that. It's going to get boring. But if you are dissatisfied, more is always going to come. You're always going to be getting more. And I think this is even more important after going through something like narcissistic abuse because you don't want to get to a point where you're like, yeah, I'm satisfied. I'm satisfied with who I am. I'm satisfied with where I'm at. Satisfaction is where death is. That is where the death is. If you are satisfied, you can say goodbye to any other goals or aspirations that you have. Or anything. <clears throat> if you're satisfied with the relationships you have, you're probably not going to get any more. Do you know what I mean? Because you're not going to improve yourself. If you don't improve yourself, you may not get it. If you don't improve yourself in the business world, you may never get a successful business. These are just examples. So, living blissfully dissatisfied is the way to go because you are in a state of bliss on a day-to-day -day basis. You enjoy yourself, but you're not satisfied. You're like, I enjoy who I am. I, I, I enjoy where I'm at. But not fully. I'm still dissatisfied. I'm not fully satisfied because, like I said, satisfaction is a death. That's where everything ends. You're literally 100% satisfied. Like I said, you can say goodbye. You can say goodbye to anything else or any thoughts you have of thinking of getting something, something else and your hands on something else. You have to be dissatisfied when it comes to getting something else. If you don't have it, you must be dissatisfied because you don't have it, right? And when you do get it, you shouldn't even become satisfied. Because there's always going to be something else that you want. It's always going to be like this. It's always like that in life. It's always like that with every single thing you do. It's what's the next thing. Because life doesn't end when you achieve something. Life doesn't end when you get that girlfriend or boyfriend. Life doesn't end when you start to make more money. 
most of the time life is just getting started and that's why you have to program your mindset to be dissatisfied. You can celebrate, but you shouldn't sleep on a win. You shouldn't be satisfied like that and think, I won, I got it, I did it. That's satisfaction. You can treat yourself, you can be happy about it. Let, let, you can let yourself loose on what you just did. But you have to keep the ball rolling. You have to continue to do the things you're doing and the things you did, if not even upgrade from that and continue to keep doing the right things. It's, be, it's called being blissfully dissatisfied. You are in a state of bliss from the wins you get. You are in a state of bliss from maybe the food you eat, from the things you do, from the people you're around. It could be blissful, it could be good times, but you also have to be dissatisfied. If you like video games, you could be playing a video game. It could make you feel bliss. It could give you satisfaction, but you can't be 100% satisfied about the things you're doing. Because like I said, it's where everything ends. That's the end. Being fully satisfied is the end. There are some people that actually say they're fully satisfied in life. You don't see these people going anywhere. You don't see these people doing anything. They might feel good for a little bit, but then it catches up to them. And now they're always like angry and mad and just like feel like nothing is happening, nothing is moving. And that's usually how it stays forever for these people. That's because in their minds they want to be satisfied. But you can't do that. It doesn't mean you can never have fun. It doesn't mean you can never feel bliss. You guys know exactly what I'm talking about because we already went over this in the video. Is blissfully dissatisfied. That's the way to live. That's the way to keep moving forward and to keep having fun and keep doing the things you're doing because life is not all about having fun every single second of every single day. Whereas narcissists, that's what they think it is. And most of the narcissists are the ones that aim to be satisfied 100% of the time, which you can never do. You always have to have discipline some way, somehow. You always have to be willing to do something that you don't necessarily want to do. The more you do things like that, the more happiness it actually brings in the future. The future is in five seconds from right now. The past is five seconds ago. The present is right now from every word that comes out of my mouth. Ten seconds, it's coming. That's the future. You do hard ass things, you do challenging things to challenge yourself. And the better things come. If you don't do that, and you live satisfied, and you don't do anything, and you just want to have fun every single day, that's when all the problems start to come. Because you're not solving any problems. You're not moving forward. You're not doing anything. You're going to encounter a whole lot of problems, and you're still going to have problems too. Even if you're doing the right things and moving forward, because there's always going to be a problem. There's always going to be something. But you're going to avoid a lot of that. And you're going to create even more bliss and more happiness and all these things from doing the harder things. And it actually makes you happier in general. It makes your mindset happier. When you do hard things and you push through those plateaus, it actually makes you very happy. For some reason, I don't know what it is, but it just like, it makes you enjoy the little things so much more. Let's say you had a hard ass day at work. Let's say you were 12, 14 hour shift. You probably... In the midst of that shift, depending on what you're doing, you probably hit a plateau during that where you felt you might have been tired, you wanted to stop, you just thought about going home. But obviously you have to stay to work, right? You're at work, you're grinding, you're putting in that work, depending on what it is. And you hit that plateau where, like I said, you're thinking about like leaving and stuff like this, but you stay, you tough it out, you eat a meal, you keep going. And... There's something about enjoying it so much when you get off of work, when those 12 or 14 hours are up, when you get to be free now and you get to live your life. Life becomes so much more happier. I don't know what it is because I remember working those hours on cranes in the freezing cold, in the full on open, no trees around, no nothing, literally in the complete wide open space. It's windy as hell, it's cold, it's snowing, 
one of the coldest days and I'm not even properly dressed and I'm out there working a job on the cranes where we're working on windmills and stuff like this like we're up high on cranes working on windmills and it was brutal carrying heavy stuff all day doing things like that and it's like I remember the worst day ever that I had at that job it was like I was literally wanting to go home every single second thinking about can this please end because it was that it, it sucked that much every single day there wasn't like that but there was one day where it was like that and man when I got off that shift life just became so much better that's what suffering does you will enjoy the hell out of getting in your car to leave and to go home now you have your freedom now you're driving your own vehicle that alone is so happy but let's say if you were just to be home and you're already in your comfort zone and then you leave your house let's say to go to the grocery store to get some groceries it's not going to be happy it's just going to be another day you're doing another thing just like usual but let's say you do something extremely hard like you're working that job then you get in your car and you leave you're so happy for some reason because you just went through hell and now you feel rewarded for the freedom you're getting whereas you came from a spot of freedom now you leave now you're on your way to get your groceries you're still in that state of freedom so it doesn't feel any different it's that shift in the brain that makes things what they are that's why people that are starving that's why people who don't have much water or something like this let's say somewhere in Africa or something whenever they get water or food you see their faces light up like a Christmas tree and just for the regular person that has a lot of money maybe they have a lot of food to eat and stuff like this at home um, it's just another thing to eat another meal they don't even really enjoy it and I'm not even gonna lie one of the things I spend most of my money on is food I love my food and I love to eat clean I like that was always a priority in my health ever since 18 19 years old up till right now and even before that I still loved all my food and stuff like that I just eat way better way cleaner and spend more money on it now and when you do it all the time it just becomes another thing like <clears throat> I wouldn't enjoy it as much if I had let's say less of it or was eating something else that didn't taste so good and then I go back to the meals that I was eating it becomes so much better but when you do something every single day it just becomes kinda normal just like it doesn't really give you much you know what I mean so switching it up is definitely good. Living blissfully dissatisfied is definitely good. And especially after narcissistic abuse because you were not going through much bliss, were you, in that moment? It sucked. Let's just be honest. It was a living hell. Now you come out of that, now you're living in this state of being blissfully dissatisfied because if you just go straight to bliss, it's going to catch up to you quick and you're going to feel like things are missing, like something is missing. That's because you're 100% of the time trying to live in this state of bliss where even if you still put in some work and stuff like this, it's going to make you feel so much better and rewarding. And the bliss is going to be even stronger on top of that. And if you still have that mindset of being dissatisfied, there's still a ways to go. There's still lots to do. You can't get to that finish line. There's no finish line when it comes to life you don't cross it look how much time we all have left your story is not ended your story is not done right now it's just beginning every day is a new beginning age means nothing age is just an illusion look at dogs they're usually cool right after the day that they die and nothing really changes with them of course they get older they slow down a bit and things like this but you're still alive, you're still there, and you still matter, and you're still important. That's why it's best for us to take care of ourselves and to maximize our lives and the happiness in it by doing the right things. Instead of living a lower quality life 
and not living out of some discipline because discipline is honestly what creates more happiness. It gives you the better times in the future. That's what discipline does. You might suffer more today, but you live better the next day. And it's not like you're done because there's always some suffering to do. But it just creates better things in the future and you still stay on that disciplined road and better things just keep coming. The reason that I even got to where I'm at right now, which I am not satisfied whatsoever. I'm the least from satisfied with where I'm at. I'm not satisfied at all. I'm proud of how far I came. I celebrated wins along the way. I celebrated breakthroughs along the way, but I am so not satisfied. I don't see me even having an ounce of satisfaction inside of me until at least like five years from now maybe even a little bit more. <clears throat> and that doesn't mean I cross that finish line. That doesn't mean I'm living satisfied all the time now. I, I just mean even a hint of that satisfaction because the more you do, the more satisfied you are going to feel, but you have to continue to train your mindset to keep living blissfully dissatisfied because anybody can get caught up into living fully satisfied. It can happen to anybody, to anybody. And whenever you see billionaires and stuff like this, there's a reason why they're billionaires. They don't get to a billion dollars and they stop every single thing they're doing and they just start living off that money that they have, which is billions of dollars, which they easily could, but they don't. They keep working, they keep grinding. These people are cut from a different cloth. Because I can't say, I, I, I don't know. I likely be doing things, but they are still working at a completely different level than everybody else. They're still doing things and operating on crazy levels. And they have that much. And a lot of them make investments and stuff like this, but they're still busy, busy, busy people. They might not be working hard labor-wise, but at least they got a lot to do. They got a lot of phone calls. They got a lot of everything like this. They got a lot of engagement. You have to to keep your stuff going. But it just goes to show that the reason they even got there is because they had this mindset and they're gonna live like that to the day they die. They're gonna have discipline until the day they die. I don't know if there's any billionaires who reached that mark and then just stopped and lived off that money without earning anything, without doing anything. Which they could, like I said, but they don't because they are cut from that cloth. And look how happy they are. And don't get me wrong, there are some millionaires. I don't know about billionaires, they're probably all pretty damn happy, but there are millionaires who like reach that mark and they're not so happy. That's because they did it the wrong way. Their life depended on just that. They got lost in doing it. Then don't get me wrong, there's lots of millionaires that's also happy, but some do it the wrong way and end up making it happen and it screws them over. Because they lost themselves and, and they lost their identity in the midst of making that happen. And now they're lost. They just don't really know what to do next. Like, what's next? And some of these guys even lose their money because, you know, they, they make, 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 save, 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 and then boom. And honestly, a million dollars, it's a lot of money, but it's not a lot of money, too. Like, you can easily spend that money. You can buy a brand new vehicle that's like a quarter million dollars. That's one quarter of a gun already. You can buy a house that's like half a million or even another quarter million. Let's say that's half a gun right there. Boom. Look at all your bills for the rest of your life. It's honestly not that much money. It is, but it isn't. You know, you just know what I'm saying. But anyways, guys, <clears throat> I made the points in this video that I wanted to make. And absolutely living this way is the best way to live. Hands down. Blissfully dissatisfied. At all times. Forever for the rest of your life. And it's actually going to bring more happiness. Doing harder things brings more happiness. If you go for a long run, and I'll end up with this. It might suck in the, in, in the more of the beginning stage of the run because you're getting warmed up. 
your heart rate starting to go up, it, it's not used to it. So it's, it, it might be a little bit uncomfortable for the first say, let's, let's say like five, 10, 15 minutes. But once you get to at least like 20 minutes, 30 minutes, you start to feel comfort around that time. Not comfort, but more comfort. You, you're starting to get used to it. Your body is now in that process. The time has gone on and the motor is running. And by the time you're done with that run, you come back home after those miles you just ran. You feel thankful, you feel grateful, you feel good. And this is how it is. It always brings better times whenever you have that discipline. And that's it guys. So I'm gonna cut this video now. I will be back tomorrow with some more videos. And I hope you guys have a great rest of this day. Until next time, peace out.